locked up. And whether we high or low, we gonna get back up like the Dow Jones and NASDAQ. Sort of like a thong in your ass. Come on. I tip on alligators and little rattlesnakers. But I'm another flavor, something like a Terminator. Ain't no equivocating. I fight for what I believe. Why you talking about it? Just, just, just talking about it. Some calling me a sinner. Some calling me a winner. I'm calling you to dinner. And you know exactly what I mean. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You can rock or you can leave. Watch me tip without you. No, no, no. What a
so grateful, excited, and delighted to have you while we present to you three contributory core performances. Ending the evening is Mighty Cactus, preceded by the Tragic School Bus, and initiating the trifecta of tremendousness, I present to you now, Kablam! to Kablam's murder mystery dinner theater. My name is Regina Frankenheimer, and I will be your host and guide through an evening of intrigue. Hello, I'm Edwina Montesquieu, and I'll be playing the part of the Countess. My name is Bradley James, and I'll be playing Jeeves, the sarcastic butler. My name is Sally Kerfuffle, and I'll be playing the part of Trixie, the saucy yet virtuous maid. And I'm Keith Pennybottom. I'll be playing the part of the murderer. Jesus Christ, no, what are you alert? What is this? Keith! <laughs> Unbelievable. This is the third time you have stood me up this week. Yeah, yeah, of course I'm at home. That doesn't mean I'm gonna sit around and wait for you for the rest of my life. That's the other thing is I, I always have to call you. You never call me. Uh oh, screw me, screw you. Boyfriend trouble? No, Comcast. <laughs> Ugly, ugly, <laughs> ugly, ugly, ugly. You looking at guys ugly. on Twitter? No, pictures of my kids. Ugly. In the car, I just can't wait to pick you up on our very first day. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for attending the Conservatory for show tonight. Even though the world seems like it stopped turning, the show must go on. So thanks again for coming tonight. And now I am going to take you to a Zoom meeting somewhere in America. Hey, hey, Mary. Uh, you wanted to chat? Yeah, uh, thanks for calling in, Mary. I appreciate it. Oh, um, really quickly, I just, I wanted to apologize for yesterday. Um, my son has asthma and he was sick and I had to pick him up from school, but Janet covered my desk, so everything was fine. Oh, okay. Janet covered your desk, so everything's fine. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so what's going on, Barry? Okay, Mary. Well, sometimes companies grow and they're like, <laughs> We're the greatest company in the whole wide world. Whoa! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes married companies are like, shit. And right now, we're like, shit. And sometimes companies get so small, Mary, all the people don't fit inside anymore. Are, uh, are there going to be layoffs? No, no. Oh, thank God. <laughs> There's going to be lay off. One. Just one. Is this like a guessing game? <laughs> okay, yeah, let's make it a game. Somebody's getting laid off today. Who's it going to be? Is it me? <laughs> Yay! Hey, congratulations, Mary. You win. Woo! Oh my god. Uh, no. No, no, no. No, Mary. No, no. Don't start crying, Mary. Don't. Don't you dare start crying, Mary. I'm sorry, I can't. If you cry, then I'm gonna I can't cry. Help. I can't. Oh, man. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, Mary, what are you doing? Are you puking? Oh my god, don't puke. Oh, it's just your Oh my god, I'm so sorry, 
I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> I just, I don't understand. I mean, this is awful. I don't understand. That picture, is that a picture of your son back there? Oh, yeah, that's my boy, Roy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have one of those, too. Oh, my God. How are you going to support him? I don't know. Oh, my God. I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole, Mary. I'm a pecker. No. No, you're not. You're not an asshole. I'm an asshole. I'm the one getting laid off, which means somewhere along the lines, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked it up. No, Mary, we picked your name out of a hat. What? Oh my God. Oh my God, I am always this person. If, if I'm in a group of people and a bird is flying overhead and decides 40 miles away that it needs to take a steamy hot dump, it will turn around just so it can shit on me. So it's all over me. No, I just shit on you, Mary. I did. Yeah, you shit all over me. I did. I did. Oh, not my fault, though. It's the higher up, Mary. They don't know you. To them, you're just a number on a paper. To me, though, I know you. You're my friend. You're yeah. my friend. We are friends, Barry. Yeah. In fact, we go to Chipotle every Wednesday, which yeah. means that this past Wednesday, you sat across from me eating your burrito bowl. <laughs> you know damn well you were about to ruin my life. <laughs> it didn't taste good, though. That's oh. not the point, Barry. Do you have any idea how awful this feels? How <laughs> Terrible I feel? No. no. Okay then. I am going to fire you, Barry. You're me. Okay. Barry, you're fired. Uh, no. No, please don't fire me. No. Oh, I don't want to be fired. No, please. Oh, I'll have to say, oh, seriously? No! I, what, is, what is wrong with you? I don't know, Mary. This is like the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I don't know what to say. This is hard for me, too. Uh. I don't blame you. This is just hard. Well, listen, if there's anything that I can do, a reference or anything, please. Thanks, Barry. That, that means a lot. I, just Jesus, Barry, what am I gonna do? I don't know, there are like no jobs out there. I won't pay, I won't pay, yeah, no way. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the right of the American people to know how your politicians are being funded. This is the 2020 list of the super PACs that are affecting the upcoming presidential election. Citizens United, Texas Tea Party Patriots, Make America America Again America. Move to the left association, move to the right association, cha-cha real smooth association. Orange is the new pack. Baby got pack. Pack dead ass up. Coalition of the Remix to Ignition. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Mama rolling that body got every man in here wishing. Dot org. The people of Arkansas against the pronunciation of Kansas. The people of Florida against common decency. The people of Idaho know you to ho. The people of Indiana against education. The people of Delaware against being interesting. New Mexicans for old Mexicans. The person of Wyoming, Louisiana Creole for the villain of the barabarum. The Cleveland Indians. Germans for Uber, millennials for whatever, 
Doctors Without Boners. The pro-war, pro-life paradox party. The National Rifle Association for politicians of low caliber. Democrats for politically correct cunts. Yeah, that's, that's right. Did not plan that parenthood. Women against the women, for the women, for Hillary Clinton. The people who are figuring out who have the daughters and who are the wives of Donald Trump. Bernie Sanders suits against dry cleaning. The people who believe that Ted Cruz is the Zodiac killer. The people who know that Ted Cruz is the Zodiac killer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so excited to see which one of these buys the election. Let's have a toast for the douchebags. Let's have a toast for the assholes. Let's have a toast for the scumbags. Let's go Bears! Let's go Let's Bears! Go bears. Let's, Let's go, go Bears! Bears. <laughs> Attention patrons. This live stream at the Lincoln Park Zoo will be ending in five minutes. Check that real quick in the inning. They be like, boy, he winning. All I do is carry the team. They say I'm like Charlie Sheen. Cause all I do is win. This just in. We just saw the Chicago Bears in a stunning come from behind victory. And with us today, we have wide receiver Kevin Simmons. Kevin, you came out of your slump in a big way today. Three key receptions in the second half, including the one in the final minute for a touchdown. Tell me, how do you account for this great turnaround? Well, it, it was a great team effort all around. You really have to hand it to them. They never quit. I also have to give credit to the Lord and uh, thank him for being such a strong presence in our lives and coming through for us in such a big way. So I have to give credit to him. Now, you're coming off two tough losses at home. You personally went three games with zero receptions. During this dark time, why did God abandon you? Well, I think God has a plan. It's not easy to understand that. His perfect wisdom eludes our comprehension. Hopefully, if today's game is any indication, we'll stay winning and remain in his protection and mercy until the playoffs. Speaking of playoffs, your win today virtually eliminates any playoff hopes for the Kansas City Chiefs. The team has struggled all year and they've been plagued with serious injuries. Kevin, why does God hate the Kansas City Chiefs? Ooh, well, uh, perhaps the Kansas City Chiefs are evil and God has chosen to smite them for he is an angry and righteous God. But I also believe God is all forgiving. So hopefully there's also a chance for redemption, uh, especially in, in this conference. Now you've been doing a lot of work with disabled children and have been getting a lot of publicity for it. Kevin, tell me, do you really think it is wise to fraternize with children God has sought fit to punish so severely? I don't see it that all. No, I don't see it that way at all, Tim. I, I really love working with kids during the off season and during the regular schedule. I think it's great for the community and we learn a lot from each other. I tell them what it's like to be a big league football player and uh, they read to me. Now, Kevin, we know football is an extremely aggressive sport, and Christianity preaches meekness and forgiveness. Don't you think you would be better off serving a god who is more warlike in nature, such as Odin or the African deity Ogun? <clears throat> Can you repeat the question? It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. Mr. and Mrs. Weber, thanks for uh, joining me on this Zoom call this afternoon. So you are Xander's parents. And he's certainly a spirited young man, isn't he? He certainly is. Thank you for uh, putting this meeting together, Dr. Albright. You must be the third child psychologist we've seen in like the past six months. Yes, I noticed you were referred by Dr. Albini. <laughs> Funny story, I thought he was dead. Anyway, tell me about your kids' behavioral issues. Well, last week, he threw his Wii controller at my head for asking him to call me dad. Mm hmm And when the nanny wouldn't give him more juice, he called immigration. Yep. Yep, checks out. Well, looks like the diagnosis is quite clear. It appears that uh, your son is an asshole. But 
we put him in Montessori school. Yes, yes, I noticed the gluten allergy on his chart. Look, this is really nothing to be alarmed of. It's much more common than you might think. No, take a look here at this chart. See? Here. 78% of children in this country are born assholes. This number takes a big spike here between kids born between 94 and 97, and then anyone born after 2000 is just at the asshole chart altogether. Well, can't you just prescribe something? Yeah, my sister received the same diagnosis, and she put him on Ritalin in utero. Yes, Mrs. Weber, modern medicine has been working tirelessly to find a cure, but science has only come so far. I mean, isn't there anything we can do? He lives in our house. Yes, there is actually. You know, next time your son is being an asshole, all you have to do is tell him to stop that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Xander would never let me talk to him like that. When I asked him to do his homework, he tweeted my credit card information. And plus, we try to remove any negative language from our vocabulary around the children. We believe words like no, stop, and can't are really limiting to his growth. We want him to grow up in a world where he's not bogged down by what society tells him he can or cannot do. So we let him do whatever he wants. Well, we would all love to live in a society where young men are bogged down by a basic understanding of words like no and stop. But uh, unfortunately, I think your job as parents is going to get a lot harder. You see, with time, a young asshole grows and becomes less and less self-aware and more and more emboldened and more and more likely to enroll in Miami of Ohio. Oh, no. no. I'm sorry, doctor. When we dropped our child off this morning with the iPad that takes care of him, we did not expect this kind of news. I mean, what kind of life can our child have? I know this is a lot to take in, Miss Weber, but it's not hopeless. There are plenty of environments where assholes can thrive. I mean, the internet, for example, or Congress. Let's have a toast for the douchebags. Let's have a toast for the assholes. I don't know Jamie. Give it up for Jamie turning his video off. Wow, how phenomenal was that? I was a little bit too close to home, a little bit like, why are you in my brain acting out my comedy on the Zoom stage? But you know what? You don't need to hear any more from me. What you do need to hear from is more from our second group. Give it up for the Tragic School Bus. <laughs> And thank you so much for coming to our Conservatory Four shows. We are the Tragic School Bus. And today we're going to do some archive scenes from over 60 years of Second City history. Now we're digital, we're not in person. So if you're laughing, cackling, giggling, go ahead and put it in the chat box. So tonight we're gonna start off by taking you to a high school reunion. Wow, the St. Charles High School reunion. A lot of memories in this old place. Well, there goes nothing. Karen? Oh my God, Karen Armstrong. Has it really been 25 years? You look great. Listen, Karen, I gotta tell you, since high school, you were my first crush. Heck, you might have even been my first love. Karen, you gotta let me know. How's it going? Not good, actually. Just had a double knee replacement, and I just got fired from the Joanne Fabrics down on Ballworth Avenue. Yeah, they caught me stealing the beads. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, how about your sister? How's she doing? Mm, she passed. 
Yeah, real bad case of glaucoma really took her down. Oh, high school rocks, baby! Whoa! 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 Mike McKinley! What? Chris Wadowski, what's going on, man? Not so much, buddy. How you been? Oh, I'm gay now. Are you? I can't say that I am, but congrats, man. Are you open-minded? Well, my wife does have an OnlyFans account, so I guess I am. I can brush your hair. Uh, what? How's your family? Oh, yeah, man. They're, uh, they're great. You know, they still, they still live in town, there, in fact. And I can brush your hair anytime. I'm sorry, what? And your mom still lives in that coach house, right? Uh, well, actually, I lived in the coach house. My folks, they, uh, they lived back in... Oh, what the fuck are you... <laughs> Say hi to her for me. I also have a comb. Mr. Kowalski! Oh my gosh, sir, I didn't expect to see you here. Listen, back in high school, you were my favorite teacher ever. Mr. Kowalski? It's me, Chris Wataski. Oh, you were always such a little bitch. What have you been up to these days, little bitch? I'm an, I'm an architect? What a waste. What? You could have been a movie star. Eating pussy for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, come on now. Look at that beautiful little beard of yours. It's like a hot little pussy scratcher. Oh, come on. Stop that. Nobody wants to see that. Stop it. Mr. Kowalski. You wasted your life. Oh, Keely McDermott. I've seen how you die. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Amanda Phillipson, my senior year prom day. You said some crazy times, Amanda. Like that one time that we went to prom. It just puked in my mouth. Um, well, other than that, uh, how you been? And it was at that moment that I realized that even in this little hometown of mine, no matter what happened, I would always have... Chris! What? Don't eat the guac! Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Jeez, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here, the spotlight and everything? I was really excited to come to this reunion and all. You all seem to be doing great on Facebook, but it turns out you're all fucking insane now. You've changed. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna work out. Hi, I'm Barb of Barb's Barbells. If you're watching this video, you're well on your way to sculpting the body of your dreams. My method is not Peloton. It's not CrossFit. It's not Pure Bar. What the fuck is it, Barb? It's a state-of-the-art fitness method that uses your past to build your future. <laughs> All right, before we get started, I want you to think of your fitness goals and outline them. It helps to say those out loud, so do that now. Lose 25 pounds in 10 minutes. <laughs> we can do that. Look, I know where you are right now. Before I was a world-renowned personal trainer, I weighed 585 pounds. Good damn. <laughs> I was able to shed over 450 pounds and become the personal trainer you see today by doing this fitness method and also by eating a diet consisting only of canned soup. That's a lot of sodium, Barb. Ha 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 ha! Me too! All right, let's get started with our memory lunges. I want you to lunge forward and, as you do, say out loud a traumatic event from your life. I'll start when I got my period in church and was accused of stigmata. <laughs> Switch legs. When I was at the height of my weight, tripped at a friend's house and crushed their cat. <laughs> What's something you regret? Okay, um, buying this workout video from an Instagram ad, still falling for Instagram ads. Um, gaining 25 pounds after I got married, getting married, oh shit. 
<laughs> okay, let's move on to squats. I want you to squat down, and as you do, imagine that you're hiding from your demons. I like to pretend that I'm back at my old high school, hiding under the bleachers from my tormentors. Ha <laughs> ha! Where do your demons live? <laughs> in my house, in my bed. I sleep with a demon. I cook for a demon. My husband is a demon. <laughs> Look, I know where you are right now. I'm in my living room, Barb. <laughs> Me too. All right, let's kick it into high gear with our rebirth burpees. I want you to go down, down to the ground and as you do, pretend that you're burying your former self. As you pop back up, pretend you're being reborn into a beautiful flower. Let's go. You're a corpse. I'm dead. You're a flower. I'm a lily. You're a corpse. Man. You're a flower. My husband never buys me flowers. You're a corpse. I'm dead. You're a flower. I'm reborn. I feel like a vampire, Barb. <laughs> you're damn right, because your past builds your future. All right, if you're thirsty, go ahead and get a drink of water. Thirsty for blood, Barb. <laughs> okay, hit that subscribe button and move on to video two where we teach you how to reconcile with your husband using karate. I'm gonna karate chop my husband to death. Look, I know where you are right now. I'm in prison, Barb. Wait, what? I guess I just lost my husband, I don't know where he went, so I'm gonna drink my mind. Hello folks, for this next sketch, I'm gonna need a suggestion from one of you. So please put in the chat a person, place, or thing, and we might use it in the next sketch. All right, the first word I saw was diaper. All right, first graders, come on in, come on in, come on in first graders, please, please. Welcome to art class. Today we'll be drawing pictures. It's where we take an object in our mind and put it on a piece of paper. And today we'll be drawing diapers. So whatever you think of diapers, whatever that means to you, just put it on a piece of... Becky? Did, the, did you get that Lego brick stuck in your nose again, sweetie? No. Okay, well just remember, if you pick at the brick, it sticks. So we're drawing pictures of diapers today. So that could mean anything to you. It could mean your emotion, your status. Uh, Neil, how you doing today, Neil? You feeling good? Um, yeah, um, I feel good, I feel good, I feel good. Just, I'm I, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just checking in because you were feeling a little angry yesterday. So I want to make sure you're okay. I'm fine. Okay, that's great. Um, moving on. Uh, so just draw pictures of diapers, guys. Teacher? Yes, yes, Tawny. I'm pretty sure my marker's gone bad. Uh, no, all these are brand new markers, and I'm pretty sure that one's a highlighter. Uh, so just draw a picture of a diaper. Um, Melissa, honey, is that underbite worse than it was yesterday? My parents are correcting it through prayer. Well, I'm just gonna jump on that bandwagon with them. I love you, Professor Dumbledore. That's not my name. Anyway, we are drawing diapers, so whatever you drew, show it to the rest of the class, and you all get to see it. Uh, Becky, let's start with you. What did you draw? Uh, this is a picture of of my little brother's um, ex excrement, is, and he um, we went to the bathroom real bad one time and went all over the diaper, and my dad said it's like uh, the economy is now. So I drew it in blue so you, you can uh, vote for Democrat and make sh and help it. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you, thank you, Becky. Um, and thank you for your dad's <clears throat> political views. Um, uh, Tawny, what did you draw? Um, this is a picture of my mom kissing the pool boy and my dad getting really upset. <laughs> wow, Tawny, that's so, that's such a great picture. I don't know what that has to do with a diaper, so next week we're gonna work on listening for you. Uh, Melissa, what did you draw? So, when I was little, my mom told me I had to potty train myself. I couldn't wear diapers anymore. So, she put me in the bathroom and locked me in there until I figured it out. So there's the big toilet, and then there's me, and then there's the door. 
right there. See? The toilet, me, and a door. That seems like a very, very intense way to train a child. I'm, you need to talk to someone. I, I'll, I'll be here after class. <clears throat> Edgar, Edgar, you've been really quiet. Uh, what did you draw? Well, all my clothes are hand-me-downs, including my diapers. And my big brother, I drew him. He was a big Billy Joel fan. So this is him with... Okay, um, wow. Hand-me-down shirt. That's, and um... The, uh, and the diaper that's signed by okay. Billy Joel. Okay, well, hand me down diapers seems like that could cause a very, very bad I'm, rash. I'm, I'm sorry. I, don't apologize. I'm, I'm sorry for you. Uh, Neil, what did you draw? Um, I, uh, I, no one's ever changed my diaper or taught me how to use the toilet. So I drew, um, it's, it's my, it's when I was, uh, yesterday, when my best friend Derek and everyone at church was pointing at me because I smell really, really bad. And then, and then yesterday, I, that's me in a car. Uh, and my dad was going inside to 7-Eleven to buy Bush Light. And he left me in the car. And then after that, I actually, I didn't get to finish, but I, I drove to Chuck E. Cheese. And then Mr. Mouse wouldn't hug me because I still smelled bad. Okay, Neil, I need to talk to you after class. Class dismissed. Oh, hey, honey. I was just digging my own grave. Honey, would you say that I look dressed for a semi-formal event, yet also wearing an adult onesie? Oh, I would. That's because I'm wearing something called a jumpsuit. It's a shirt and pants. And look at all the pockets. Oh, shut up. What will we think of next? You know, on my way home, I picked up a 12-pack of our favorite new beer, kombucha beer. It tastes like raspberries, ginger, and dirty sink water. Oh, it helps me poop and gets me crunk. Shut up! I will not! You know, I was on Amazon the other day, and I found these things called pop sockets. They attach to the back of your phone and help you hold on to this darn thing. Pop sockets? I think that you're really gonna be okay. I mean, things are great, considering. <laughs> I'm gonna light it all on fire again! <laughs> oh, honey, I'm having such a craving for Doritos. We always disagree on this. I'm in the mood for Kit Kats. But I could also go for a Big Mac. Well, what about a pizza? What if I told you that we could go down to Taco Bell right now and get a Doritos Locos Kit Kat Gordita Crunch Big Mac pizza? Well, President Trump, there's not enough evidence to remove you from office. I would hit you in the face. Right here, honey. <laughs> 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 oh, I feel fine. I really do. <laughs> Where are all you cool cats and kittens? License and registration, please. I'm um, what? Uh, excuse me, is that a small amount of weed in your car? Uh, Put him up! Who needs an ass when you're having fun? I use Gatorade as sun lotion. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Oh, God, it's not. 
Ah! Is that a murder hornet? Oh my god, I think it is! It's a hurricane! No! 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 You don't get $1,200, you get squat! Get a job is what you should get! Get a job that doesn't no. exist! No. No. I think it's over. Oh no. Oh! No. It's begun! <laughs> Hey guys, uh, thank you for coming out and supporting the Tragic School Bus, and we're going to throw it back to Mary. Woo, thank you, TJ. Well, wasn't that just a fanciful field trip into madness? I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some more crazy comedy to see what this cats and kittens have in store. Without further ado, I bring to you your third and final phenomenal ensemble for the evening, The Mighty Cactus. <laughs> I can't believe that you would compromise your ethics this way. It's no big deal. With one action, you've thrown away years of medical school, not to mention your reputation. Listen, I'm not the first doctor to have slept with one of their patients. Bob, you're a veterinarian. Hi. Welcome to Mid City Subaru. Hey, how are you? Great. We have a lot of wonderful cars in the lot. Wonderful. I'm looking for a red car, hopefully a cheap one. Here. I'm so sorry. That meth head is back again. Hello, fellow human people. We are the Mighty Cactus, and we hope you've been having a really great time tonight. Uh, up next, we've got a great team for you with our lovely actors, Sophie and Brian. Uh, they're on their way back home from a date night. <laughs> Please keep dropping those laws in chat and uh, enjoy. <sighs> now that was a great movie. That was really fun. <laughs> Once again, you are the snack queen. Thank you very much. You know, a lot of people think you can't bring ramen into the movie theater, but you totally can. <laughs> hey, babe? Yeah, babe? Did you leave the basement door open? No, I didn't. Because I specifically checked before we left to make sure it was closed. But now it's open. open. Maybe we should go take a look. Okay. What the hell? What are you doing? What? I. You're a faster walker than me. No, come on. Come back. I'm coming. Come back. I need him to come back. Oh no. Well, gosh, you know. <sighs> Sorry, the friction oh, slows me down. That was not cool. Don't do that again. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, what do you no. think? What, what if there's like an animal down there? What do you mean? Well, like a little raccoon? Like an opossum? What if there's not an animal at all? What if it's a... What if it's a burglar? What if we're being burgled right now? I told you that Alexa was listening to us. What? Alexa knew we were going to the movies. And then she told the government... Doo -doo 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 and the government told the CIA... Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then the burglar hacked in and found out we weren't going to be home. You fucked us for the last time, Alexa! Oh, God. Okay. But what if it's...
it's not a person at all? What if it's like a spirit? Like a like a g -g -g ghost? Yeah, like a ghost. I swear to G, last night before we went to bed, I heard something in the walls. What did it sound like? Um, it sounded like a. Uh... Why? Why didn't you wake me? I didn't want to unplug the CPAP machine. I need that to live. The doctor says that I die eight minutes every night. Oh my god. What is it? I know what it is. What? It's, it's a portal. Like to the upside down. What's the upside down? It's from Stranger Things. You never watch Netflix with me. I don't like Netflix. I'm a Hulu boy. I need commercials with my shows. The point is, once we go down there, nothing will ever be the same. Before we do this, I need to tell you something. I've been working on your birthday present. It's a quilt made from all the notes that I've ever written you. It's pretty uncomfortable. I guess I should get something off my chest too. In eighth grade, Katie Schwartz wanted to ask you out, but I liked you. So I told her that you killed animals. Jesus Christ! <sighs> I didn't lose five pounds. I lost four pounds. And then I gained 35 pounds. I, I didn't donate all the leftover Thanksgiving me meal to the food pantry. What? I got stoned and ate it all in the garage. Aw, I love you. I love you too. Whatever we do, Whatever happens, we do this together. Together. Hey! Let's see. According to your chart, it says you suffer from severe abandonment issues. Let's talk about that. When did this all start? Well, my father left me when we were very young, and I just don't think you can get over something like that. Um, Dr. Carlson, can I see you for a moment? Yep. Gary, what time did you get in last night? Uh, I think I got in like 10.30, but you were probably asleep by the time I got in. Yeah. Uh, did you get mom anything for Christmas yet? Yeah, I, I got her a bathrobe. I think I've gotten her like five bathrobes, but she never wears them. Uh, well, maybe she'll get the hint and stop rocking around naked. <laughs> uh, What'd you get her? Uh, well, I, I got her a, a Snuggie, which is basically a bathrobe, but backwards. No, 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 no. A Snuggie is so much more. It's a blanket with sleeves. Too long we've been slaving under the tyranny of sleeveless blankets. You're watching TV under a blanket and you want to get some coffee off the table and there. You gotta get your arms all the way over the top of the blanket. Snuggies are blankets of liberation. Well, I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. <laughs> Uh, say, did you get Gordon anything? Oh, I mean, what do you get a stepdad? I mean, well, we could go on on something together, you know? Ooh, look out! <laughs> Coming through! <laughs> Guess who's back from his race walk? <laughs> Gordon. 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 Welcome home, boys. What are we doing? Shooting some hoop? Uh, yeah, yeah, we were just shooting around. Nice. Uh, look, looks like fun. Sure does, uh, uh, look like fun. Do you want to play? Yeah, boy time, boy time. Nice shot. I think you got the ball pregnant. 
I got I got that joke. All right, here we go. Uh, before you start telling weird jokes, I have something I want to tell you boys. Uh, I'd like for you to stop calling me Gordon and start calling me Dad. Oh, what the heck? Dad! God, what are you doing? We have a dad. Eh, original dad doesn't like me. Come on, I love you guys. My biggest regret in life, it wasn't me on top of your mother that night. I, I mean that. It comes from the heart. <laughs> well, you have a creepy heart. Fine. If you don't call me dad, I'll play you for it. One game of who? I win, you call me dad. Okay, and what do I get when I destroy you? How about the keys to my who ride, homie Slice? <laughs> Your 89 Ford Probe? I can't really see myself getting any female attention in that thing. Never hurt me none. Know what I mean? You know what I mean. Your mother. Oh, all right. Gross. Uh, what are we playing? Uh, let's play a quick game like horse or pig. How about up? Yeah, even better. Fine, I'll start. You gotta do everything I do. Yeah, yeah, you gotta travel. Okay, uh, so I start here and I pretend I'm a drunk Michael Flatley. And then I have a seizure. Crap. Dude, you boned a layup. You're gonna wish you picked a bigger animal, my friend. <laughs> All right, I call this one Back to the Future. Here we go. <laughs> That's no looksies. I saw that. No looksies. You gotta do everything I do. Okay, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Okay, you look like Beyonce on OxyContin. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here and do a, a backwards shot. No look. <laughs> yeah, victory lap. <laughs> All right, a deal's a deal. What do you say? Okay, all right, if it'll make you feel happy, good game. Dad. Oh, uh, you make me so happy. Oh, oh, God, oh, what are you, what, what bad are you doing? Bad dad, bad dad, bad dad. Okay, okay, I'm so sorry. It's just that in that moment, you, you look like your mother. Looks like we got your son's test results back, okay? Yes. Uh, I'm afraid it does show that he does have depression, so I'm just gonna, I'm sorry about that, but I'm gonna start him on a uh, let's, prescription of Prozac, and then let's go ahead and get him on some Oxycontin just to help him sleep, and also uh, some uh, Ritalin, you know, uh, just in case. Thank you, and you're sure it's a boy? Oh, I'm positive. So excited to see the jellyfish. I know, I love the way they move. I know. You think they smell like fish? Or like jelly? Hi, jelly. welcome to Shed Aquarium. We have a lot of great exit. Damn it, the meth head's in a jellyfish tank. All right, so last night I was at Shenanigans, you know, the pub for trivia night, and I look up at the bar and I see the most beautiful grade A piece of ass I have ever seen. So I get a little liquid courage into me. And Whoa, I- Oh, uh, they sell that? It's just alcohol, dude. Okay, so I get a little liquid courage in me and I go up to her and I'm like, you are the most beautiful grade A piece of ass I have ever seen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you said that? Oh yeah, totally. I was like, uh, hi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Nice. I mean, I have a story to share. I bumped into Garrett last night. Oh my God, you two had a really bad breakup. It was fine. I said, hello, Garrett. It is what it is. I find that sometimes it bees like that. You said that? Yeah. I was like... <laughs> no! You gotta take me back! Take me back! Please, Lord! Take me back! Yeah! Yeah! I'm an independent woman! Mm-hmm. All right. I was gonna save this one for another time because it's a bit of a doozy, but might as well lay it out on the table. You all are looking at a guy who last night kicked a bouncer's ass at a club. <laughs> yeah, my friends, they were at this club. Bouncer wouldn't let me in. So first things first, I sprayed a little verbal attack. Then I came in with the physical. What'd you say? What'd you say? Oh man, I was like... Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, my friends are in there. Can you get inside? Sorry, buddy. Club's full up. Okay. I don't want to embarrass you on account of you being a female bouncer and all, but if you don't let me inside, it's about to get a rowdy. Oh, it's gonna get rowdy. <laughs> Come on, bitch! Call me mama! Call me mama! I'm gonna ride this donkey all the way to mama town! Yeah! 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 yeah. Kick that male bouncer's ass! <laughs> Man, you guys are just so cool, always throwing down and speaking your mind and buying potions from wizards. I mean, I never do anything cool like that. Oh, come on, Alan. I, I bet you've done something. Well, okay, okay, everybody settle down. The other day I was at the grocery store, and the guy at the checkout was all like, this coupon's expired, and I was all like, well, couldn't you please just take it anyway? That's all you said? <laughs> yeah, I was like... And, uh, just the one ham? Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. It looks like this coupon's expired. Oh, that's too bad. Because that's the only thing keeping me from following you home and stabbing you in the eye. from smiling and laughing so much. Give it up, give them some love, give them some, oh my gosh, they're totally brilliant and fantastic. I hope you had an amazing time. They did an amazing job. I don't know about you, but I learned you do not mess with improvisers during a pandemic. For, the, for your safety, you do not play with people who play. I would love to bring back onto the stage. Let's, let's bring back Seth Thomas's group. Kablam, kablam, take the stage. Totally fabulous conservatory on their way to the top. Now, you beautiful folks. And now let's bring Justin Hill's tragic school bus to the stage. And there, and there. And last but not least, let's the first time we've had this group of sweet mighty cactus. like to thank Dewey Minden, who's been our music director, improvising this musical underscoring live for you. And let's bring in our directors, let's bring in Jess and Sam. They have been helming the shift through COVID, helping them facilitate incredible comedy. Um, and I also want to thank you. It's, uh, I've been Mary Hines. I'm a teacher and a performer and a fellow crazy cat. And it has been such an honor to be able to realize that we can still bring comedy to you and 
just because we can't be in person does not mean that we can't be together and collaborate and share and laugh and love and cry and sweat and fart all of the above if this looks like something that's fun to you what are you waiting for we have drop-in classes we have we have a uh, two-week escapes we have intensives uh we'll be able to meet in person as soon as it's safe again but why wait try and take a class see how you feel. I uh, put the link in there online. Uh, thank you so much. That is our show. I hope you had a great time. Please be sure to tip your server. It's a two drink minimum. Don't eat what's in the back of the fridge. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Oh no, all the actors left. Everyone was so obedient. They went. Come back if you're still here. <laughs> Hi, beautiful, wonderful people. I hope you feel like hot shit because that was hot shit. Real talk. All the eloquence. You're hot shit, period. Full stop. Um, okay, so if you're still here, turn your video on and we'll take a group picture. Wow, like my, seriously, like my face hurts. Like my brain hurts from all the laughing. Yeah, text people if you can. Jamie's like on his phone. Come back, I want to take a photo. How do you feel? Great. Everyone, awesome, dude. You hyped it out. You yeah, awesome. That was you know, fresh. Thank you for that. And those were tight sets, you guys. I, I mean, as a as a teacher and a director, I really want to honor you for how incredibly professional you were. You showed up early for tech, which is like one of the sexiest things you could ever do. You were completely available. You were so easy to work with. You did amazing work. I can tell how much you've done this term and like just do what we're doing with also being a human on planet Earth right now. Amazing. All your physicality, your brave choices. I'm just like, I, I mean, totally in awe. Um, so thank you for being fabulous. She came back. Um, can you be my personal trainer, please, Barb? Yeah. 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 I will seriously want to hire you to like. <laughs> yeah. All right. I love that the audience, I love audience. Welcome to our post show chat. I hope you're enjoying it. You're free to go. Have a lovely weekend. Do your laundry, wash your socks or buy new ones. <laughs> Bye. All right. So I'm going to turn this chat off. Dewey, great job with music. Holy Moses. Nailed it. Killed it. Crushed it. Smashed it. Andrew, are you running somewhere? I am uh, at the uh, train station. Epic. I, uh, I'm going to uh, an, another uh, show thing that I have to go to. So. Oh, we'll bring a leg, brother. Right. More Zoom. Well, Just more I'm going to get a group shot of everyone. More, more Zoom. We have two minutes left in the room. Um, I love TJ with TJ. That's an excellent. Okay, I'm going to turn my video off. <laughs> Command three. Oh, yes, I can do it. Okay, great. That was just a, that was just a, a practice run. Uh, okay, so uh, make a face like you just did your Conservatory 4 show and you feel like phenomenal, beautiful humans. One, two, three, yes, wings out. Um, and also just make another face and live your life because you're beautiful and you're alive. Woo! Yes. Okay. That's it for me. Do we have anyone else that's here that wants to say anything? Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, guys. Great job, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Mary. Right now. That's like the only thing that I'm missing is like gushing over how great you are, but. <laughs> Andrew, how'd you get out that fast? Yeah, yeah man, you're like a flash. I'm a speedy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end this meeting, friends. Um, I think, I don't know if your your teachers wanted you to come back to a hangout. I know Sam emailed that you're going to get notes later. Um, yeah. Uh, my class will get notes next week. Excellent. Remember that you have a show to write. <laughs> Remember you have a show to write. And it's not messing around if you're writing it down. Some of the best advice. Beautiful. Oh yeah, and Brian, I'm sorry for taking you out on that out. And I want to honor how you improvise around it. <laughs> no, so yeah, they're identical moment in the bottom that we rehearsed, and then it's an identical moment in the middle we didn't even tell you about. So how would you have known? 
I mean, I, 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 I'd like to think I know everything, but I am only human. All right, great job, y'all. Have a beautiful night. Stay safe. Great work. Bye.